Hello Broadway. Did you like my lovely flowers? They're so beautiful at the moment. All the bluebells and the tulips are just finishing, the, the forget-me-nots. I've got this lovely bluebell here that I picked earlier. It's been picked, so unfortunately it's not going to last for very long. I can enjoy it at the moment because it's got the lovely colours, the lovely smell, the lovely shapes. It's one of my favourite flowers and I love seeing them standing. But of course, once I pick it, it won't last for very long, even if I put it in water. In water. When it was Mother's Day, my James very kindly gave me some flowers. <laughs> Look at them now. What do you think of those? <laughs> I think they're past their best, aren't they? And I think they need to go in the compost bin. Once they're in the compost bin, of course, they will be re, re, uh, rejuvenated into wonderful soil that can go out onto the garden. But at the moment, they're definitely faded and past their best. In the Bible, in Isaiah chapter 40, verse 8, it says, The grass withers and the flowers fade, but the word of God stands forever. Wow, that's amazing. The grass might wither, the flowers might fade, but God's word, his Bible, stands forever. Not just a little bit, not just one or two days, not just until next week, no, forever. That means in the Bible it says to us that God will love us. That's a promise. We can claim that promise. It won't stop no matter what. It says in the Bible, God's word, that he will be with us. He will never leave us, no matter what. God is with us in the good times and the bad times, in the nice times and the difficult times. He is with us. And of course, it also says in the Bible that he will give us eternal life if Jesus is our special friend. Is Jesus your special friend? I hope so. Remember, the grass withers the flowers fade, but the word of God will never fade. It stands forever.